So in this video, we're going to chat about MEV and how to start with Solana MEV because there are a couple of chances you can take here and especially uh, with GTOD. So first of all, Solana is a little bit different. They do not have uh, the mempool like uh, like Ethereum. It works a little bit different. So you also have to do different things. But first thing first, uh, MEV is maximum extractable value. Uh, usually this is the value derived from adding, removing or reordering the transactions within a given block. An example uh, of uh, MEV is for example, uh, uh, basically sandwiching. So when you buy before someone, uh, someone tries to buy a meme coin for example on DEX you buy before him sell just after him and then profit from a difference because he has some kind of a slippage and then you, that's basically the profit you're going to also I should mention that of course nothing here is financial advice nothing here is a recommendation of doing MEV we are purely uh, discussing that from uh, uh, fr from the educational perspective also MEV is super hard if someone is uh, trying to convince you that uh, you can do it easily and make passive income by doing MEV and by installing some kind of a bot some kind of a code you find online do not trust him you have to do the work yourself and the reason for that is uh, nobody will share a working MEV bot uh, this is super competitive so each new bot that's coming into play is actually taking the profits from all the other bots so if someone would have a working MEV bot uh, definitely he or she wouldn't share it because that's taking the profits from their bot so you won't find anything online working but you probably can find some tips online so how to get started and this article from Helios is one of the examples I'm going to also show you uh, digital apps and where you, where you can find there and I think this is a good starting point in general so uh, this is uh, basically how to start with Gito because I think this is really, really interesting. So MEV, as I said, looks a little bit different from other chains, uh, but it's still definitely possible. Uh, so you don't have a mempool, but uh, you can still bet on blocks and tip validators because it's all about tipping for uh, including your, your, uh, uh, your blocks, your bundles, and how you want the transactions to go through because it's super important that your transaction is exactly before a particular transaction and after someone else's transaction so uh, in order to have a successful MEV you have to understand that uh, so it's super important to tip and actually there's the entire explorer on GTO, uh, dot, uh, WTF. Uh, you can click on GTO Explorer and basically you'll be able to see how many bundles there, there were through GTO. So GTO has its own space within Solana that you can bet on. And also you can see who's the biggest tipper. So usually those kind of transactions are, has like tipping to the validator to make it in a particular order. And you can try to analyze what people are doing. So this is super interesting because you can see what kind of MEV uh, people are doing and this particular MEV paid uh, this is this was the the largest in the past week paid almost 400 soul uh, to do this particular MEV uh, and it seems like uh, doing something with a GME token uh, it might be well done just after the announcement for example of Roaring Kitty doing a live stream or the, uh, explaining his position but basically someone did something with GME uh, here or maybe it was the front running of some whale that was trying to buy GME on this announcement uh, so you try to analyze this kind of this kind of a bundle or explore everything uh, really recommend it uh, if you like it because that's the first step to understand what MEV on Solana look like is go through the GTO Explorer and try to for example look at the largest validators uh, go you can go with week you can go with month see all the bundles you can also explore directly one by one what's happening really uh, and we'll see also uh, things that people do uh, well or not do well this is definitely the first step now front running and some Sandwiching is, of course, uh, one particular example of MEV. You have a bunch of others. This goes under arbitrage, basically, in this uh, definition from Helios. So you have arbitrage where you take these advantages of price discrepancies between, uh, for example, someone trying to buy and there's a slippage, or maybe there's two DEXs and you try to go between that. Uh, there are a couple of things like that. Another example is liquidation. So if there's some kind of a bad loan because of the price going up or down and someone getting liquidated. So usually, in a decentralized way, uh, people that get liquidated are getting liquidated by someone on chain and that someone on chain gets uh, 
gets a reward for liquidating that person. So this is the same as it works on Ethereum. Uh, you also uh, can do the same stuff on Solana. Finally, there is uh, NFT minting. So MEV from NFT minting occurs when participants attempt to secure rare or valuable non-fungible tokens. And basically uh, you have sudden increases with uh, block X minus one having no NFT MEV opportunity and blocks X having a large MEV opportunity. Uh, and uh, usually you can do something uh, you can do, do something there. Uh, now, this is where Gito comes into play uh, because uh, Gito do not have, Solana do not have a native in protocol mempool. However, Gito offers you out of protocol block space auction for partial blocks, meaning uh, they produce their own blocks and basically you can bid on their on their blocks or the or the space in a, in the blocks uh, in a bundle. So Gito is used basically on many many dexes for example radium uses gito and that's why you have so many mev bots currently on radium uh, this was my previous video what was about is basically i gave you this examples uh, from going through bear die of really the most profitable traders being the mev searchers so mev bots that actually are sandwiching people on radium especially with a lot of uh, meme coins actually being launched on radium or the entire ecosystem of pump.fun is, uh, pump uh, is coming uh, into radium after they get liquidity this is actually why uh, uh, why uh, Gito is such a big deal here and why uh, every searcher every MEV bot is uh, using Gito so if you want to understand more about MEV on Solana uh, you should try to understand Gito so this is about the mempool, uh, super interesting. This is, if you want, I'll provide the links down below in the description, of course, if you want to read more. Uh, we'll be now going more uh, into uh, into Gito itself. So uh, Gito, of course, you might know the project because this is uh, the liquid staking solution, of course, uh, and the fact that they can provide you the higher IPY is coming directly from MEV because they have this higher, uh, this, th they have their own block space that you can beat and those tips are being redistributed to people holding the, the Gito token, the liquid, uh, the liquid uh, soul uh, on Gito. Uh, so this is uh, a standard, standard system. Now, you can go to uh, for searchers a guide and we're going to do that in a moment and then you will have a bunch of information there uh, but basically uh, gito labs allow you to be a validator have something for searchers for stakers as well uh, they have their own tokens uh, here, here are the words from uh, ceo of solana anatoly mev is rapidly growing business model for blockchains gito has a great approach to maximize the benefits of, of mev uh, to the network uh, and minimize the negative externality of MEV to the rest of the users and applications running on Solana. Uh, so of course, this is about MEV using Gito. Now, as I've mentioned, if you click on the four searchers, you'll be taken here. And uh, if you want to look for the particular strategies, you can start with searcher docs. This is what I recommend. Uh, you have also MEV dashboard. You can see what's happening, what kind of trends you have. Um, searcher examples that will give you the code. We're going to go for searcher docs here. So basically, if you go to searcher docs, uh, you'll be taken here and you'll be able to uh, have a glimpse on how to start with Gito. And basically uh, the guide is for anyone trying to make money on MEV. And I, I again, I do not recommend doing MEV uh, because right now, for example, in, in Europe, uh, it might be considered uh, to be against the law. So I'm not going into that direction. Uh, but if you're in other jurisdictions or if you just want to learn, uh, definitely worth having a look at. Now, how to get started? Basically, you have the basic infrastructure, the, the way to connect. Uh, you have everything explained with the bundles and how they work and what you can do with the bundles on Gito. Uh, and then you will have a bunch of examples. So this is good because uh, you can basically go through everything. I wouldn't think that uh, you get, of course, a working MEV bot just from that, but you can definitely start playing around on Solana and having uh, fun doing that and basically understand more about how Solana works, how Gito works, how, how MEV works in general. Uh, they explained all the concepts pretty well, so that's also a good starting point. Uh, so this is it when it comes to the total introduction to Solana uh, MEV. Uh, if you want to learn more, you will have to go on your 
uh, on your own direction. Uh, there's a lot to be learned. And of course, this space is highly competitive. On Ethereum, it's extremely competitive with Jared from Subway basically taking still millions of dollars per month, uh, every month uh, for, for the past year at the very least. Uh, and uh, on Solana, the space is much newer, so there's potential to do more stuff. Uh, but this is something you have to do full time. It's extremely hard when it comes to coding because uh, you, of course, have to be super precise with your calculations. Your algorithms have to be super fast in order to bid correctly for the for the space in a bundle, uh, for your bundle to be included, to tip the validator the, the amount that you want to. Generally speaking, uh, I discourage people going in that direction unless you are really willing to commit your time and efforts. There is no easy solution. This is probably the hardest way you can make money in crypto. Uh, setting aside all the controversies regarding whether it's legal, ethical, and so on. But it's definitely the hardest way to make money in crypto uh, because you really have to put in a lot of effort into computation, into infrastructure, into maths, the actual maths behind it. So uh, worth learning it from because you want to understand more about blockchains, but uh, not really worth it uh, going as a way to make money, especially if you think this is easy money to be made. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you want to learn more about when it comes to uh, MEV or other concepts. Happy to cover that on my channel. See you in the next video.